So even though they had discovered this new world over here in North and South America, they still wanted to find a way to get over here to Asia. So explorer after explorer are going to try to find a way to get through through the North America here to find to get over here to Asia. So they're searching what will be called the Northwest Passage. So what you read is you talked about uh, people looking for the shortcut to get there. All kinds of different explorers are going to be looking for. And so many countries hired people to do it. Like you read about John Cobbett. Um, he ended up sailing west and he found Newfoundland, which is a group of islands right up here in Canada. He didn't find the Northwest Passage, but he found an area of Newfoundland where there's so many fish there that a lot of they were gonna they started making a lot of money on shipping that uh, fish back to Europe and making money on uh, dried fish. A little bit later, you read about how uh, France hired an Italian explorer named Giovanni da Verrazzano to continue the search for a Northwest Passage. Well, he explored some parts of what would become New York, uh, New York, Hudson River. He did not find a Northwest Passage. The reason these two have, did not find the Northwest Passage is because one did not exist. There is no way to get from one side of a North America to the other on water. It's not, it was not possible at that time. But they did not want to give up. So they kept trying. So uh, in 1602, or here it says a new kind of company. They were a merchant company. I mean, their job was to make money. They were formed a group of people formed together uh to try to explore different things and basically they want to find spices in asia to bring back to uh europe to make money so they searched and eventually they hired somebody by the name of henry hudson to try to also find this northwest passage well we know now that he was going to fail because you can't find something that doesn't exist um but the dutch which is where he was from the dutch is this little country right uh, here it says netherlands so the dutch were right in there and so the dutch had hired him and he ended up exploring some some land around what is new york city and he claimed that land from the netherlands so his first attempt he didn't find the northwest passage he was going to try it again this time he ended up in this large bay up here in canada bay is a water Drawn on three sides by land. And this is the Hudson Bay, named after him. So when he tried for a second time to find the Northwest Passage, his crew ran into some trouble in the Hudson Bay. The crew had a mutiny. And when a mutiny is when you're in, in the water, so it's on a naval ship, your crew tries to overthrow their leader. That's a, that's a mutiny. Well, they didn't kill Hudson or, his, or his, some of his other men, but they took over the ship. And what they did is they, Hudson, his son, and eight other sailors who were not happy with what was going on, they left them in a small boat. Well, we don't know what happened to Hudson, his son, and the other men that were with him. The crew, when it got back to England, they were arrested because having a mutiny like that was against the law. And to this day, we have no idea what happened to Hudson and his son, but we do know he has a bay named after him. So this just talk, this lesson basically focused on how people – we're trying to explore more of North America, but find, still trying to find a faster route to Asia. Uh, thanks for listening. Bye.